audience, dear brothers and sisters, these shots will be the main, what you will see, and I will be just in the corner. These are the natural shots. There is no lighting, there is nothing I have done to them. These are the very natural shots I took a few days back from the airplane before landing into Manchester, if you have seen any of those videos about landing safely in Manchester, and praise God for that. So these are natural shots going through the cloud. And this is the message. The message for those who are going under the sun, under the cloud, and they suffer from depression. There is no need to suffer from depression when we trust the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives. We may go through the clouds. We may go through the darkness. But we need to know that we have a living God and do not depend on our feelings, but depend on His Word, on His eternal Word. We have examples in the scripture about Job. His friends, in his afflictions, his friends, his three friends came to comfort him. And what did he say to them about this? We read in chapter 16 verse 2, he told them, miserable comforter, you all miserable comforter. We have to avoid such people when we go through afflictions. We need the right people. We need the godly people who will stand by our side. At the same time, Job was trusting in the living God. And we read in chapter 19, verse 25, that's right, As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. It is not perhaps, it is not maybe, it is assurance that we have a living God. Beside that, we need a living people, we need pe godly people, those who are in the scripture, into the spirit, that will stand by our side so we will not be suffering as badly as others would suffer. And then we have Micah, Micah. Or, I, I love Micah as a prophet. In chapter 7, verse 8, Do not gloat over me, my enemies. If I have fallen, I'll get up. If I sit, though I sit in darkness, the Lord is my light. That is wonderful experience. That is Micah. This is a job. So we have this treasure of godly experiences that we can rely on coming to the New Testament. Jesus himself is our best example. And then we have the story. If we look in John chapter 11, we have the story of the two sisters, Martha and Mary. The news went to Jesus that Lazar whom you love is dead. But for Jesus, it was the glory of God. He did not go straight away to see Lazar. And when he reached there, it was already four days. Lord, he stinks. No, 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 no. Martha, Mary, haven't I told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? You will see the glory of God. We will see the glory of God if we have the faith. If we trust in Him, if we trust His Word, we will see God's glory. Here I am on my bed, resting after the two injections, steroids injections. Yet I am rejoicing because my Redeemer lives. My God is alive, and I rejoice because I have his word. I rejoice because I have godly company. Received a letter yesterday, someone praying for me. Thank you so much. That is wonderful, very encouraging. And the Lord is on my side. Here we have Martha and Mary 
distress, under deep depression and sadness because of their brother. But for the Lord, it was only falling asleep and he will wake him up. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He is the resurrection and the life. What they have needed was to take Jesus' word afresh into their lives. Jesus is the resurrection. He is the life. He is what he, what he claims he is. Then he came to the tomb. He asked the people to do what they can. Remove the stone because the, the tomb was closed with a big stone. Remove the stone. The one who raises the dead can move the stone, but he let people do the job they can do. Lazar, come out! And Lazar came out. Again, he delegated the job they can do to them. Untie him and let him go loose. As I said in the Gospel, according to St. John, verse 25, we read the following. And many of the Jews who came to Mary and have seen what Jesus has done, they believed in him. So the ending was people putting their faith in Jesus Christ. I wish my whole life would be like that. That will end up for his glory, will end up for the faith of others and will end up for strengthening someone's faith in Jesus Christ. They have seen, many of the Jews, they have seen and put their faith in Jesus. This is a life that is not depending on the feeling, not depending on the time we pass through the clouds, but on the light behind the clouds. The sun that is shining. Our Egyptian brother William Jindi, whom I had privilege to work on his recording of the New Testament 50 years back, around 50 years ago, uh, wrote a wonderful, wonderful song that will say, إِذَا غَابَتِ الشَّمْسُ خَلْفَ الْغُيُومُ وَأَطْحَنَّهَا رُكَلَيْلٍ طَوِيلٍ I translated that. If the sun sets behind the clouds, and the day becomes like long night. And if the clouds cover the lights of the stars, and you say in your distress, where is the way? Come, come, weak-hearted, for the light of hope pervades the servants, and every bitter path you see will lead your soul towards life. إذا غابت الشمس خلف الغيوم وأطرح النهار كليل طويل Hallelujah. That is wonderful. So if the sun went behind the clouds and the day seems like a long night, do not be despair. Stick to Jesus. Stick to his word and find the right people to stand behind you. God did not give us the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of conciliation. He gave us the Holy Spirit. When Jesus ascended to heaven, he promised the Holy Spirit, whom we have in us today. Friends, brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. Thank you for those who are praying for me. Please hit like button, subscribe and share the video with others for the benefit of many. And remember to pray for me as well. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I'm, I'm Daniel.